Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Springer, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And what that is, is a 16 by 20 inch black primed matte canvas and a whole bunch of little pieces of acetate that I cut up from an edge catcher. Those are the colors that I have out. I don't know how this is going to go, but we're going to find out together. So, to begin with, I'm going to probably be swiping, but I'm not sure I'm going to do it in any particular way that I've done it before. I'm going to save myself out at least one card, and that way I'll find out which ones I want to use. And I am going to just, to start, add some colors that I like in somewhat random seeming patterns all along one side with some Anita's metallic in the mix. And like I said, I have no idea how this is going to work out, but we, we will find out together. And the reason I use the Anita's is because I want some of this purple. And I think I want more of it than I gave myself. Now I have a chance to use some of the enamels, and I, I'm not using satin enamels, but I am using gloss enamels, and they do seem to work the same for me. I may be doing a bunch of this. Oh, I love that blue. That blue was a folk art color shift, and I added unicorn spit to it. And what I'm going to do right now, I think, I think to start, I might just tip part of that over. Let me see what else I can fit in here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to use, am I going to use a pink enamel? No, I'm going to start with a black enamel. And I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way. Do I need any other colors in there? Not, maybe not that color. What other colors? I really like the purple. But then you do that. Oh, here we go. Here's some iridescent pink. And they sell this in a bunch, in a bunch of different products. Um, this was a Masterminds, I believe. How about just something to zing it up a little bit? That's probably not going to do it. How about something more zingy? There's already more paint there than I know what to do with. Let's see if I've got an edge catcher handy. This is not my, my brightest hour because I've got some sort of head cold thing happening and uh, my brains are on vacation. Alright, almost. It's definitely time to neaten up the studio again really soon. I'll just use one I like and not worry about it. I'm going to go the wrong way first. I don't think it matters. I just don't feel like losing any paint. I wish that was longer. <laughs> I have a longer one. All right, so let's just start and see what happens. And I'm going to take my pink color. You know what? I really want some black in there. And I'm using the satin enamel. Okay, that's probably not a bad idea. So let me just grab a little bit of that. <laughs> I did it anyway. And I'm going to clean that right off on the end of my canvas because I can. And then I'm going to start again. And maybe this time I'll go from the different direction. I want a little bit of everything in here. And I don't necessarily want it to be the same because I don't think it's going to make any difference. I'm going to have a little purple in there in a second, maybe. I kind of wanted some gold, but I didn't do it in the first one, so we shall see. How about some Prussian blue? Well, I can't find the Prussian blue, so I'll take the purple again. Not, that was not a good idea. All right, so back to the back to the white pearl from Anita's, which is really very sheer. <clears throat> And I wanted to go from the opposite direction. And I want that hair out of there. 
I want to see if there's anything else I want to put in here. And I think there is. I think I want to grab color shifting. I could see that it was separated in there. Yeah, that's perfect. I thought it was color shifting, but I think it was just separated. All right, so now I'm going to use the opposite side of this card. Actually, I'm going to knock it off on that edge. And then I'm going to wipe it off on something else. So I don't have any more paint residual on there. And I'm going to flip around my canvas. And the question for me is, do I want to use the white enamel? I used the pink, so let's use the white enamel. I really want that to go all the way down. Here. I kind of didn't want all that to go away though. I remember the white enamel pretty much flushes everything out. Makes it look super pale. So I'm not sure I'm going to like that. But we'll find out. I could go back with some pink, or I could blow into that and see what it's going to look like. Or I could even tip it sideways. Looks kind of like I'm making scapes again. Well, there's less color down on this end, so this is the end I'm going to tip it down to. And as much as I like all that, I'm really interested in playing. I found the, I found the enamel I was looking for. I, excuse me, the Prussian blue. And I think I'm going to combine it with a little of something else. Who knows what this is going to turn into? I mean, I have ultimate permission to do whatever I want. And I don't necessarily need my brain to do it. I think I'll be repeating some of the colors I liked already. I think that needs to go right up there before it comes back again. I'm a firm believer that if you use pretty colors, you probably can't go wrong unless you muck them up too much. All right, so there's my enamel. Here's my next victim. Let's see if I can do this a little faster. Whoops, that was a lot. There's something in there and it doesn't want to come out for me. I want to use a different swipe color. I really like that blue. I'm just making some super down, down and dirty stripes. And um, I'll tip this any way I want, and there are no rules. That is the case in this case. That's the enamel, the gloss enamel. I'm not sure who it's from. I might throw a little rogue element in there, like, no, that's not it. <laughs> Let's, uh, ooh, do we really want to take that chance? No. Okay, what have I got? I've got some red. That'll do it, right there. I haven't used any yellow yet, but I'm having a good time. So this time, I think I'm just going to squish it and wave it a little bit. Bring it back to the beginning and start it again. Gotta have some pretty edge catchers out of this. And I have some pretty colors, one way or the other. So I really want some gold. Same way I wanted the blue. And I think this time I'm going to use that Modern Masters. Is it Modern Masters? I think it's Modern Masters. 
I'm going to do the same thing I just did. I used to be try, trying to do this in a way too regimented of a way. I don't mind that I'm going to lose the black canvas. I would have normally coated it again with a layer or something. So I haven't used a lot of this. Can I use any of it? And I think I'm going to need another stripe. I do learn every time I do this what I can get away with as far as, um, you know, how, how much of some color and another color eats it. <laughs> I don't know how to phrase that. My brain's not on. Um, but I am having a pretty good time. And whatever I learn here may be useful in, in my next uh, arrangement of scapes. I've used too much paint a couple of times so far, so I think I don't really want to uh, go too far overboard. I don't even think I really need the enamels at the beginning of every swipe, but so far it's been that kind of... I, the cells on the top are pretty amazing right now. And um, So what shall I do? I'm not going to use the white again. I don't like it. I'm not hating it in this, but I'm not going to use it for a swipe ever again because I know I have to, you know, do... I have to excavate. Hey, at least I didn't torch first, right? I have a turquoise color shifting folk art that I want in here, even if I might have too much paint. So far, I wonder if I could put a layer right along the edge first instead of after. Why not? Why not play? I think it's a good idea. I could even blow it into place. I could pounce it into place with one of my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas. By the way, that reminds me, underneath Show More Under the Video, you can find my Amazon link. And if you want to help me out at no idea cost to you, you shop there. Also, the only thing the YouTube algorithm knows in order to help any YouTube artist get their videos placed in a position where they can be found is how long you watch. So if you decide you'd like to help me out, you know what? I'm going to take all of this paint right here and use it because I, because that's my religion, using paint. Um, because it's here. <laughs> because I can. Hey, that's the name of my first book on the Amazon link. And because there's enamels in there, so it doesn't matter as much what I use next. Because I, I have found over time that just a little bit of enamel makes a huge difference. I want that. I want more of that paint. <laughs> Come off. I'm making reddish purple mud. So I don't want to go too far with that, but um, I think maybe a little bit of this isn't going to hurt anything. Look at those beautiful cells in there. I could just tip that. I could dip it. I could do all kinds of stuff. Do I want anything else? Do I want to get down and get funky and get a little freaky? I'm a, li a lot nervous about putting that orange anywhere near dark green. So let's go ahead. I'm going to put this little tiny edge catcher, so-called, underneath. And then I am going to swipe with what color? I'm going to put some swipe color onto my piece of acetate card. And see what happens. I got some tremendous cells on this end. And I like them. So that sort of worked. That purple wasn't a bad thing. I don't know why I moved that. Um, but I kind of want take a chance. This will not stay this color because it's not on something that's light enough. I wonder if I can blow into this. I kind of miss the turquoise I was expecting to see there, but I do have a straw and two minutes left before my timer starts.
They were kind of riskier colors than the others, but uh, I don't really think I mind at this moment. I'm very tempted by a little tiny bit of that enamel. I could stick a basting brush in here. I like these, these little pillow cells that are coming about. And I kind of like the strangeness of the colors. They're not really muddy. And I got a lot of cells happening down there. And one more stripe to go, and I think it ought to be really obnoxious. And I keep wondering if I could have less paint on. This is the one with a plug in it, and every time I squeeze it out I get a big squirt and then a little squirt. And I'm not necessarily super happy with all that squirting. I don't know what's going to happen, so I'm going to find out. Risky. I think this time it's time to go ahead and give me myself permission to put the gold in there. It often disappears. <clears throat> this is the, uh, the Folk Art 24 karat gold. But if you put enough of it in there, you can have it take things over. I am going to shuffle off to Buffalo. I'm going to shuffle the paint off my card. And then I'm going to decide again. Maybe this is the one for a black. So I've got two minutes. Two minutes. And in two minutes I can tell you guys most of the things I need to tell you, which is I do sell my artwork. I do give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. What are you thing? You are a gone thing now. I am going to use this card all the way along this edge of the canvas. And there was just enough paint on there. I'm also going to come back here. Make another texture. And I like the black, so maybe what that means is that's what I should use there. If you guys are interested in helping support the studio, it's a $10 minimum, but it gets you into a drawing once a month. It'll be the third week in February. I'm not sure when this painting is going to show. Or when it's going to be done. It could happen sooner than later. So if I can't have the gold any other way, and I got some plenty of gold. I'm trying to make slightly more random marks than other times. Really want some of that white pearl. And I can't imagine where I moved it to. There it is. Ha! And I just want some ra random and rogue elements because I'm really enjoying the textures. And I got one minute left to tell you whatever I'm supposed to tell you, and I've got a crib sheet. So look at look under the video for Teespring all over print t-shirts and <coughs> leggings that are mine. Pinterest, in Instagram, and Twitter are under the video. The paint pouring recipes under the video. Um, thumbs up are really appreciated. Thank you guys for the wonderful comments and all the contributions that have kept me painting so far. I love you guys for it, and I will see you anon. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida. At Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard, making stripes and playing in paint. And adding a few spirals because I can. Don't forget, shop the Amazon link under Show More where you can find my book. And, this, and volume two is out now too, by the way. That is unlimited possibilities. <laughs>